hard I set the hook. I just hey everyone, Troy Peters and Mr. Bluegill from The Real Shot with another Real Report. Happy Monday to you. And uh, today, uh, the kids got off school here in Oshkosh, so uh, Fisher and I decided to come back out to Lake Winnebago and uh, try for some perch. Today we tried a different area. We're in a little bit shallower water. We're fishing in about oh, six, six and a half feet or so. Um, not too far off the shore. Just got a couple little hot spots that uh, you save for those rainy days. And um, today was one of those rainy days. Actually had a pretty good scare this morning with my youngest. Uh, ended up going into the emergency room and um, got a little bit later start than I wanted to today. But uh, nonetheless, we're all here. Uh, it's snowing and uh, the perch are biting. So, we're gonna drop the underwater camera down. Um, you know, one of the things when you're ice fishing, it's a great way to get the kids involved in fishing. Uh, you can put them inside a nice warm shelter. They don't have to freeze. Um, you know, I've got the underwater camera down for them so you can actually sit and watch the fish. Uh, it just makes a lot of fun. You know, it keeps them interested. Uh, and it lets them catch fish rather than having to try to learn how to watch a flasher. They can actually watch how the fish sucks in the bait. And uh, you know, it teaches them too that one to set the hook, um, and you know how they react to uh, to their jigging motion. So, uh, great way to get kids involved. Um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, today we're going to try and have some of that. So, stick with us here, and uh, we'll show you what we're using, what we're doing, and uh, show you some a uh, little action under the water as these perch come in and uh, act all prana like and chew up our baits. All right, now what we've been using for bait today is actually a variety of different things. Fisher's been actually using the uh, gill pill with a bunch of spikes on the hook. Hook real lightly right through the nose, gives a little bit of flutter. And then I've been using, uh, actually had just a copper plated uh, Haley jig on today. And I've uh, been using the Impulse stuff from Northland. And got a lot of great scent, great movement, and those are actually the one inch tapeworms. And uh, you know, experiment in difference in colors. Um, there's all kinds of shapes, colors, different sizes. Uh, but the, uh, the bait's been a real good plastic all season long for all guys, um, fish and panfish, but especially the perch. Uh, they really, really like the scent. Uh, as you've seen here in the video that, uh, you know, they come in, they hit it, if they miss it, uh, they don't swim away, they usually want to get right back to it. So, um, you know, try some of these out, great baits. Well, what an ice season we're having here. Uh, you know, the weather this season is definitely one for the record books. And you know, here it is now, almost the end of January, and we still have no vehicles or barely anybody fishing off the west side of Lake Winnebago. And uh, you know, we're getting out in some of the bays and getting out maybe a half a mile or so out into the lake. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty dark out there, and that's pretty much where that new crack formed um, just this pet last past week here on Thursday and uh, opened up, refroze, and then with the rain this morning, uh, really looks dangerous. Uh, you won't be catching me out there anytime soon. Um, I know some guys actually put their trucks in this morning uh, down on the southern part of the lake, just parking offshore. So you know, it just goes to show that the ice is not safe. Um, here we go, we've got another cold front coming back in. Uh, the wind's just howling, picking up. Uh, we pretty much had to get out of the shack. It was uh, starting to blow us around pretty good, but you know, I wanna thank my buddy uh, Fisher here for coming out. He did pretty good catching the fish. Each time he comes out, he learns a little bit more, and you know that's what it's all about: coming out, learning, having fun, and uh, catching a few fish to begin with. But it's Monday. We'll be back out on Thursday. I'll probably throw this one up uh, on the video just to uh, get it up there, and then Thursday we're going to do something different uh, for sure. I will be heading out uh, over probably towards the pack area. And I'm gonna search for some bluegills crappies, do something a little bit different, or I might go set up some tip ups for some pike. So we don't know where I'm gonna be yet, but uh, we'll check the weather and see how things are going. And uh, we'll be somewhere for sure, and we'll have another report out uh, later this week. But till then, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill from The Real Shot with my boy Fisher. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the water next week, or uh, hopefully later this week. Good luck, stay safe, stay dry, and uh, I guess that's it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alright, time to go back there, it's rainy, it's cold.